Thanks for those, Martin, from Market Raisin. We're here at Cartmel for the Cavendish Cup, the last race of the day over three miles and two furlongs. So Club Adinge for Pedrick Hogan, Davila Lake for Darren Thompson, Martin Leatham's Look Sharp, Crime Bancher for Daniel French, Not a Bad Lad for John Morgan, Not So Sure About That, El Villar Prompt for Vinnie Gerard, Silent Voices for Pontypool Racing, Alex Jerry's called Jonathan David Robinson's Nino Chica Stop, John Morgan's Sheer Ability, Senti Utopia for Vinnie Gerard, his mother's parents and Petoskey Blue for Stu Gray, Martin Leatham's Uh huh, Brooklyn Jean for Alex Cherry and Matt Cooper's Murdoch Garfield and Philly Eagle. 17 of them over three miles and two furlongs on a tight little course here at Cartmel. They're straight into the first of a small ditch, which they all clear. But as you can see, those ones already were a little bit wide. I've already lost a couple of lengths as Elvis, not a bad lad, and sheer ability of the three that are going to lead us down to the second. Pack of horses just being led by Petoskey Blue up against the rail on the outside of that looks like look sharp. And then the two Alex Cherry horses called Jonathan and Brooklyn Jean. A little bit wider is Philly Eagle. A couple of green silks in there. Avila Villar Punch and Senti Utopia. Very unlucky. Oh, like I was up in the tree there. Very unlucky trainer earlier for the Durham National. Finny Gerard. Give Alex Cherry the Durham National win. Up. They all stream over the fourth. They're all still on their feet. It is sheer ability. Elvis and not a bad lad. With about a two length advantage from Luke Sharp, Brooklyn Jean, and Petoskey Blue. A little bit wider is Philly Eagle. As they stream over the fifth. And back towards the rear. Davila Lakes there. Tal and Charlie just in front of him is Crime Bancher and his mother's parents. And the grab against the rail here is Nino Chica Stop. So Elvis has just taken it up now, although taking a keen hold as we go through the woods here at uh, Cartmel. Hey. So Elvis and sheer ability. Just a length from not a bad lad. And Potosky Blue and Philly was moved over towards the row now. Must be this Murdoch Garfield out wide here, the one closest to us in the Red Silks. Alongside Senti Utopia and Club Adinger, top weight. Towards the rail is Brooklyn Jean. And look sharp as they go over the six. Leads changed again. It's sheer ability that's taken it up now. From Elvis, a couple of lengths back. Joins not a bad lad. As we swing left handed again, go over the seventh, which was the first last time. And we'll clear that well. So sheer ability with a four-length advantage now from Elvis and not a bad lad. Philly Eagle, Petoskey blew up against the Row, then Look Sharp and Murdoch Garfield and Brooklyn Jean. Then Senshi Utopia, Club Adinch, the Grey, Nino Chica Stop up against the Row is the darker grey, silent voices for Grey Clutterbuck. And the outside of that is his mother's parents. Widest of all there is Davila Lake between horses is silent voices. The green silks of El Villar prompt. Just crime bancher as we stay in the tree again as we go over the water. Elvis being given a couple of reminders now to stay on his game as we go over the ninth. We'll clear that. Couple pecked on landing. His mother's parents was probably worse and drops back into our back marker position as they go over the tenth. They'll clear that as well. Some sticky jumping, but sheer ability. Elvis and not a bad lad have been our three. They've been up front throughout. They're followed through now by Philly Eagle as we go over the eleventh. Fence has come pretty fast. On the pet there was Crime Bancher for Daniel French towards the rear. But sheer ability by a length to Elvis and not a bad lad. And the further length back to Philly Eagle and Club Adding just improved along with Look Sharp. A little bit wider still is Murdoch Garfield. Sentry Utopia's coming through the pack. Silent Voices is there. Alex Cherry's Brooklyn Jean. And the Chica stop for David Robinson. A little bit wider is Davila Lake. Second runner for Alex called Jonathan. The two Stu Grey horses at the rear. Petoskey Blue and his mother's parents and Crime Bancher. Can see them all. What I didn't mention was El Villar Prompt, which is the green silks closest to us. Obviously trying to stay out of trouble. But it's sheer ability. It's going to take them on out for the final circuit. 
you could see the lawn, he went straight through the top of that, lost his momentum, a couple of slow jumps at the rear, and sheer ability now gets headed by Elvis. So Elvis, sheer ability, within a length, our oh, Murdoch Garfield looks sharp and not a bad lad, then Philly Eagle, they're all getting rather bunched up here as they go to the 13th. All still clear, but it's sheer ability from the two leader horses, Elvis and Look Sharp, and then Murdoch Garfield, a little bit wider of not a bad lad between those is silent voices, Philly Eagle, Nino Chica, Stop and Club, Adinge, moving again through the pack as well as called Jonathan now, the widest of all is Davila Lake for Darren Thompson, as they swing left-handed with just six furlongs left to run now. And it's sheer ability just takes it back up again from Look Sharp and Elvis. Murdoch Garfield, a line of horses waiting behind there as they go over the 14th of water. We didn't sit in the tree this time, but it's sheer ability going on out for this final circuit now. That's the shoot to the finish line that we can see there as they go over the 15th. So we're just two to ten. We finally lost one. It's Century Utopia that's gone for Vinnie Gerard. Unlucky, but it's sheer ability goes over the 16th. So we've only got one to take and a further four, and we've lost another there. Called cool. Jonathan's gone, but it's sheer ability. The pace has been lifted now. Out wide it's Avila Lake, Nino Chica, Stop and Elvis. These four as they go over the last and we lost another. And this Elvis that's gone this time. Sheer ability. Davila Lake and Nino Chica stop. These three are starting to pull away from the rest of the field. Murdoch Garfield trying to run home. El Villa prompt. Club Adinge probably got carrying a bit too much much weight, silent voices trying to close the gap, but up front, Davila Lake and sheer ability, a length from Nino Chica Stop has got himself, no running room so it's Davila Lake, sheer ability and Nino Chica Stop, Murdoch Garfield two furlongs left to run, sheer ability heads for home again from Davila Lake, Car got plenty of weight from Davila Lake on the wide outside, there's M Murdoch Garfield running through the pack, it's silent voices, sheer ability, Murdoch Garfield, silent voices, these three inside the final furlong, it's all changed, silent voices for great clutch, but takes it up inside the furlong from Murdoch Garfield up on his outside. Silent Voices, Murdoch Garfield swinging up on the wide outside is El prompt. Half a furlong left to run. Silent Voices, Murdoch Garfield. Silent Voices is going to hold them all off from Murdoch Garfield. El Villar prompt and sheer ability. Philly Eagle. I think Matt Cooper did well there. Got up for second and fourth or maybe fifth. The Cavendish Cup, our last race of day two. Of our last week of starters orders. Season 15. There's a stewards as well again. I can't. I don't think. No, Pontypool Racing doesn't lose the race. Takes it with silent voices. Well done. Murdoch Garfield for Matt Cooper was second. Elvira Prompt for Vinnie Gerard was third. Sheer ability for John Morgan, unlucky in fourth. And Philly Eagle for Matt Cooper was fifth. And we'll see you tomorrow for our final day.